I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano has been a long time coming. It's been in the shop now for, I think, two or possibly even three years. This beautiful 1906 Steinway upright piano, and this one was worth it. Wait till you hear it here in just a minute. It was a massive, massive undertaking. Sometimes it's a bit of a risk. Sometimes I don't. I don't know for sure if, if a piano is going to turn out. I, I mean, I've done this for so long and done this to so many pianos that, that it's a calculated risk. And usually, usually I'm um, pretty accurate in, in how, how the pianos turned out. But this one turned out incredible. And it was well worth the, the two or three year investment of time and energy and lots of components and... Uh, um, uh, of course, of course, that wasn't all done in one shot. We, we weren't doing it constantly for two or three years. We were working on it here or there over that time period, but we just finished it up and it turned out amazing. Okay, so cosmetically, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, I would say. The pedals, pedals are original. They're replated. And there's the, there's the guy that did the replating right there. There's Corvin. <laughs> so he, uh, he does all the, all the plating hardware, all the chemistry involved in that. And that looks good. And then the refinishing also turned out beautiful. So this piano, brand new, by the way, I'll, I'll mention... Brand new, brand new Steinway. I think is listed an upright. I think is listed for like fifty thousand dollars, something like that. I think realistically, you might be able to get it for less. I don't know, not that much less, but uh, but still, it's a it's a huge expense outlay of cash, and 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 we have this piano at a fraction of that, and it's not only does it sound amazing, and it plays amazing, like like most Steinways do. And it will endure, but it's also totally unique and cool and interesting. Whereas a brand new one, whatever, it was just manufactured, just came off the line last year. But this one, it's 1906, completely rebuilt. Okay, let's check out the inside, what I'm referring to here. Okay. So all of this work inside here is beautifully executed. See the, the all the strings are brand new. Benchmark of, of good work. You can see all all of these have three nice and tight coils, and all of the the uh, what's called the becket, which is where the string goes into the the tuning pin that lines up at the same place. Not that that really matters, but it just kind of it just kind of shows that that there was good work done. Same with the same with the hammers. You've got just consistent. Nice straight lines there on the hammers. They were really well done. New dampers. The plate here. This is all refinished. All these screws are all original, but we've polished those. Make them look good. New hammer butts and shanks and bridle straps. Got new bushings on there. The, uh, the let off buttons are, are um, original, but we've got new felt on there. Same with the same with the rest rail and down here if you have a look you can see the bridges are all the bridge caps are new the root of the bridge which which you can see the seam there the root is original but we've cut it down and put in a new bridge cap all the way let's check out under here as well Okay, new bridge cap there on the base. The trap work here, all of that is totally rebuilt. You can see it just looks looks good, it looks fresh. The soundboard, the soundboard's original. You can see the repairs, these little dots, that's where we've we've repaired the ribs, all of those, and then the shims, that's where we've repaired any cracks and and there again it's just beautifully executed and it sounds awesome this was actually one of the 
one of the uh, pianos that when I give people tours of the shop, when this piano was on its back, every once in a while there's a piano that just, when, when I thump on the soundboard, when it's completely empty, free of a, of a, uh, of a plate and strings and all of that, it's just a piano on its back that like we're working on or whatever. Sometimes when you, when you thump on it, you can hear it just sounds like a drum. Like if you, if you hit a, um, a, a big tom, floor tom or something, you can hear it just like resonates. And this was one of those where the, the soundboard just sounds so good. And, and I would demonstrate using this piano when I would give people a tour of the shop to kind of show the, the function of a, of a piano soundboard because it's just so resonant and you can like feel it in your chest. It just kind of hits you. And why don't I play it now so you can kind of get a feel for what that, what that ended up sounding like and how that translates to not being just a drum but as an instrument. so good. That is a good piano. I would put this gladly up against any brand new Steinway any day of the week. If you're watching this, if you're watching this video and you'd like to come in and, and try it, because um, I can't imagine it probably, I, I hope, hopefully, fingers crossed it sounds good on this video, but there's no way that a video does it justice of being here and listening to, to uh, this piano in person. Because it really, in the same way that the soundboard, when I was thumping on it, you know, when it was completely empty without strings, and you could feel it in your chest, it does that, you know, like on steroids when you're in person.
This piano is a masterpiece. Really, really pleased with how that piano turned out. And whoever ends up getting this piano is going to be really, really lucky to have such a great piano. Thanks for watching.